guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 7 of season 2 of the Quintessential Quintuplets. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1. But I'm like, but you like him, honey, and he likes you. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. under my shirt. Tata. Just go! <laughs> oh god. He scares me. <laughs> Oh. Oh my god. Fotato, everybody gets bad grades. Jesus, but you're still as good. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so hard. I kind of wish what they would do. Because of course since the manga is done. <laughs> How somebody can do this like a fanfic of like a route if he got with each one of the sisters. 
a different route. Like, you know, route A, B, C, D. Because, <laughs> you know, you got the canon one, and then, you know, you got everybody else, but. <laughs> And, you know, confess your feelings. <laughs> because he probably didn't hear it. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Some bud be like, oh, yeah. You know you can tell him again if you want to. Told you. <laughs> of course you are! Oh my god! Oh. Re 
Read the room, Furtado. Read the room. You know. Oh, <laughs> yeah, cause, but you know, she wanted to come here to possibly see you and be close to you today. Okay. <laughs> no, you're right. Yeah, but in the end, you have to. That funny. I wonder who's going to be ringing that bell by the end of this episode. gonna be so awkward. <laughs>
Tut mir Und brennt es bei mir auch so bei. This is so awkward! No, 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 don't call. There she is. It's called walking, you know? Probably back downstairs. <laughs> She could talk in the mixed bath. Hmm? Okay, courtyard. It has to be. Man. Figures. I had a feeling that was an Itsuki. That had to be Nino or Yotaba. Shit. <laughs> the mixed bath, of course. Exactly. So who was it then? Maybe it's Yosawa. Yeah.
って。Yes, definitely, you know, duh. <laughs> In a way, you are, but different. <laughs> well, of course, you're sisters. And now she loves you. Okay, in my opinion, it's e if it's not Nino, my money honestly top right now. It's between Ichika and Miku. Both of them wanted to confess immediately to Fatato, but the first one who did it, of course, was Nino. Technically, Nino did it twice, and <laughs> still Nino's at number one. But if Nino didn't intervene. Ichigo would have been the first one to confess. So one of them is taking the fall for it, dressing up as Iski and saying, you know, like, let's just drop all this and it's like that. <sighs> Somebody really just does not like rejection, but it could be Nino. But at, at the same time, I don't think it is her. So yeah, it, it, it's between those two. It would be funny if it was Yotsuba, but... That's a big old maybe. Because in my opinion, I felt like Yotsuba, she has feelings for Futado. All five of them do. But I feel like right now, if we're talking about who has the most and who has the least, I feel like Nino, Ichika, Itsuki, and Miku have the most. And Yotsuba kind of has the least. Because Yotsuba's always, I mean, come on, this is Kokoa for Christ's sake from It's the Order of Rabbit. She's in her own world, but there are little moments here and there where she has like a little like blushy moment with Futado and it's like that but honestly I don't know I mean if we're really thinking about it like as I said even though yes Nino is the first one to confess and we have five different people and he can only have one one not two not three not four not all five one um, I, I would like to still see a route where it's like, okay, let's say route A is Itsuki, route B is Nino, route C is Ichika, route C is Miku, and then A, B, C, D, E. Yeah, mm -hmm. I got so many things on my mind. Um, can, you know, so on and so forth for Yosuba and everything. But I don't know. I, I really don't know how they're going to do these, number one, these last few episodes and um how they're going to end this because i uh, i mean we already know the manga's over with and I, I barely really know anything about the manga and like specifically what happened at the end of it and such but i don't know i mean because something tells me also because i've been thinking about this especially with the current situation of promise neverland season two i don't know what the what this studio was currently going to be doing for this show but they could either do it one of two things by the end of this season, we could go into like a, 
I'm about to say flashback, flash forward where Futado and the rest of the girls are at an age where one of them is getting married to Futado and we get to see that and such. Or they could leave it as like an open ending where it's like, hey, he's possibly going to get with one of them in like different various routes and it's like that, like a visual novel or anything and such. Honestly, I really don't know. I mean, they could literally do anything. And this is only episode seven. And we got like, I think, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, five more weeks with this show. Either the show has 12 or 13 episodes. I'm not 100% sure. But because <laughs> i'm so impatient i just want to know who he's possibly going to end up with and if this if they give it an open ending or a continuous ending then we'll have to find out in season three but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode seven of season two of the quintessential quintuplets if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially y'all next thursday friday for episode eight Bye, guys.